The mountain lion is the second largest cat in North or Central America behind the jaguar. Other common names include puma, cougar, painter, and panther. This photo of a leaping cougar by A.G. Willihan, found in the Denver Public Library, was the most famous wild animal picture taken in America in 1895. The attitudes of early settlers was that mountain lions were dangerous and threatened people's livelihood. They killed livestock. Humans feared them because of their secretive nature. Mountain lions were not thought of as an important part of the ecosystem, and bounties were paid for the removal. Historical American literature refers to mountain lions as devil cats and as threats to humans. That changed in 1965 when the cougar was viewed as a valued member of Colorado's wildlife community, and the Colorado Wildlife Commission changed the status of mountain lions from predator to game mammal and started protecting and managing them. By 1973, all western states except for Texas were managing mountain lions. Hunting seasons were established to regulate harvest to ensure populations were sustainable, allowing the species to recover after decades of widespread persecution. Now across the West, mountain lions have expanded back into their historical ranges, such as the Dakotas and Nebraska, as a result of these successful management tactics. Studies of cougar populations in Colorado suggest mountain lion density is well within the reported range from research studies with an estimated 3,800 to 4,400 independent mature mountain lions, not including dependent young, in Colorado. Mountain lion population growth, reoccupation of historical habitats, and expansion into other western states highlights the success of mountain lion management throughout the West which includes regulated lion hunting. Mountain lions historically inhabited most ecosystems in Colorado, but are currently managed for viable populations in the foothills and mountainous regions of the state. Their color is brownish to reddish brown with paler underparts. Body length of lions is about seven feet for males and six feet for females, while males stand 25 inches tall at the shoulder and females 21 inches. Weights for adult females average out at 95 to 105 pounds, while males generally come in at 140 to 165 pounds and can exceed upwards towards 180 pounds. The tail is approximately the length of its body and black tipped. They are incredibly powerful animals, capable of jumping 19 feet straight up in the air and kill prey significantly larger than they are, like deer, elk, and even moose. Mountain lions are most actively hunting during the dusk to dawn period. They hunt by a spot and stalk method, using cover to get near prey and a final short rush as they attack. Primary prey are ungulates, especially deer, but including elk, moose, bighorn sheep, and pronghorn. They also are opportunistic hunters, and they will take smaller prey like raccoons, porcupines, turkeys, and domestic pets and livestock. Our front-range study of cougars in an urban area demonstrated a higher proportion of small prey items in lion diets. These smaller prey items resulted in an increased yearly kill rate of approximately 84 animals taken, with 25% of that being small prey items. 66% of their kill were mule deer, with over half of those being fawns. On average, a mountain lion could consume a deer a week. They cached their kills by covering them in dirt, debris, snow, or grass before returning to the carcass for repeat feedings. Mountain lions are generally solitary with limited interactions with other adult lions. The exception is for a brief period while breeding. Mountain lions can breed at all times of year. Gestation lasts about 92 days and a litter size ranges from one to six, but the typical litter is two to three kittens. Cougars do interact with other mountain lions and have been known to share kills. But it is also common for aggressive interactions where adult males will kill adult females, sub-adult males, and kittens. Kittens will remain with their mother for approximately 18 months, 
Initially, kittens stay in a makeshift den, consisting of thick brush or rock piles, but then are moved from kill to kill after they are three months of age. They can be left for extended periods of time as their mother goes off to hunt. These family groups travel and hunt together until the kittens disperse. Groups of adult-sized lions seen together are generally family groups with kittens over a year that have not dispersed yet. Sub-adults generally disperse in the spring when they are fully grown between 12 and 18 months of age. Female sub-adults may return and settle in the maternal home range while male sub-adults disperse to new areas. Colorado Parks and Wildlife Mammals researcher Matt Aldridge collared 102 independent lions from 2007 through 2015 as part of a human-cougar interaction study and found the common distance mountain lions would disperse is roughly 60 miles, which is similar to the distance between Boulder and Fort Collins. But these lions can move further. Sometimes these dispersal distances can be quite large, with some reported female and male dispersal distances in excess of 500 miles. During Aldridge's 10-year study with those collared lions, he observed lions traveling from the Front Range area to surrounding states like Wyoming and New Mexico. The orange track shown here was originally down by Evergreen, took off one April, and headed to Wyoming. He settled by Casper, Wyoming, and was there for a year before being harvested by a hunter. Right after that, Aldridge had another lion take off, following that same path, went up there and established a home range in Wyoming. Another example comes from a kitten's mother that was killed on a road. The kitten went to rehab until it was big enough to forage on its own. When it was released, it headed east as shown in the green graphic. He made it to Kansas, checked out southeastern Colorado, and then made his way through Oklahoma and Texas before settling in New Mexico. The point is these lions can move large distances seeking appropriate habitat with other lions. Home ranges vary from 35 to 40 square miles for females and from 100 to 200 square miles for males. As human populations continue to expand, the need to understand and manage wildlife populations within the urban-exurban interface is becoming commonplace. This is especially true for large carnivores as those species are not always tolerated by the public and can pose a risk to human safety. The remainder of this video series will outline how mountain lions are using the wildland urban habitats in conjunction with their interactions with humans.